What is up everyone, Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner here for another GingerRunner.com review. A review many of you have been asking for, and a part of me can't understand why, because the shoe is so similar to the previous version, but you know what, I gave it some time. The shoe's been out for a while, I have put a lot of miles in it, I figured, why not? Plus I have so many reviews to get caught up on, I figured this would be a great one to just throw at you because you guys have wanted it so bad. From Salcony, the Canvara 8. Yeah, oh, look at this sweet little angel of a shoe. If you're already confused because you're like, that looks just like the Convara 7, you're kind of right. <laughs> Twinsies. But let's cut right to it, shall we? The Convara 8. The Convara 8 continues in the line of one of my favorite road shoes. I've run in the Convara since version 1, 3, 4, 5, skip 6, 7, now 8. I've gushed like an 11 year old Bieber fan over these things. And if you watched my last review of the Convara 7, I was so excited despite being sick and despite it being tax day, which I noticed. Still managed to put a smile on my face because that's how much I really like the Convaras. That being said, does the Convara 8 hold up? to the pedigree set forth by Saucony. What changes have taken place? Are they good? Are they bad for the shoe? Let's find out. First of all, the changes are minimal, which is a really good thing. There's so many shoes this day and age that are being changed version to version to version. Hoka Clifton. The new Convara, we're getting a bit of a new upper, slight redesign, new mesh materials, which I like. Outsole's the same, feel is essentially the same, except for a brand new layer of Everrun material between the midsole and the sock liner. Previous version just had it in the heel, now it's all the way through, all right. The changes come at a cost, because the shoe is a little bit fatter. Well, more like it ate a post-raise burrito just for fun, so gained a little bit of weight. Otherwise, very similar to the previous version, Convara 7. Now, with all of my reviews, I like to talk about the things that I like and dislike about a shoe. The Convara 8, despite being so similar to the previous version, still has some things I like and dislike about it. As always, here are the things that I like. Smooth. The new layer of Everrun all the way through the foot contributes to a smoother strike. I really noticed this in my recent half marathon where I PR'd, yay! For those runs and days when you're out there for a long time, it definitely helps to feel like your shoe is not working against you. I began to really love the evenness of the midsole. Mesh. The mesh is slightly changed. It's new, but it's super comfortable. It's a little bit stretchier, has a little bit more give. The internal layer is a little bit softer on your foot. Not that the previous version was super abrasive, but I do like the new materials that they're using. Durable, holding up pretty well. The laminated layer is holding on okay. So far, so good. Improved heel counter. If you remember from my last review, the heel counter just wouldn't sit still. Every time I put on the shoe, I'd have to dig my finger in there and pull it out. Well, I'm happy to report that the new heel counter is nice, strong, holds well good. And finally, it's the same Convara. You're really not gonna find too much of a difference if you're already used to the six or the seven. That layer of Everrun's going to be the biggest contributing factor to a different sensation in the Convara. I do recommend you try it on your own foot because, well, let's get on with the things I dislike. Starting with responsiveness. That thin layer of Everrun that goes throughout the entire foot contributes to a more responsive ride, which many seem to like. I, however, definitely felt it on the longer runs, longer distances. My legs definitely took a lot longer to get used to this shoe than previous models. I missed the Convara that was just soft not a lot of bells and whistles, simple cushioned EVA with a nice mesh upper. It's what really drew me to the Hoka Clifton 1. Now with that new layer of Everrun, you're gonna be getting some more responsive elements into the shoe, which are beginning to move it into a different direction, so I hope that they hold true to the origins and don't go the way of Batman versus Superman. Looking at you, Ben Affleck. The Pro Lock. These two little tabs that the laces are going through right there through the midfoot, just get rid of it, Salcony. This is now, I don't know, the third generation of the shoe that has it that I've just not a fan of. I think it's the weakest link. Uh, it's the midfoot of the shoe that really just doesn't do it for me. It adds weight, lacks comfort. I get tired of it. Go away. And finally, weight. I mentioned it. It's a half an ounce. I wear size 11 in the Convara 7. That was 8.4 ounces in the Convara 8. That's 8.9 ounces. It's not a lot. It's negligible, especially over shorter distances. You're barely going to notice. If you're worried that it will make a difference, don't eat a bagel for breakfast. But I always have to point it out with shoes because it is the wrong direction when you come out with a new version to get fatter. So I don't care if it's half a gram or a full taco truck. If it's heavier, I'm going to call them out on it. And that's actually it for my review. Guys, it's a great shoe. It's very similar to the previous version. So again, if you've seen my reviews or seen other reviews of those versions, you're gonna love this one just the same. But with all new shoes, I encourage you to try them on y'all shoes yourself. And rather than try them on your shoes, try them on your feet. If you like the Convara, but are looking for maybe a different model of shoe, you wanna try something new, Hoka Hupana, A633FA, and some of the older versions of the Ultra One. All nice and cushioned, light, good road shoes. So you can look into those as well. But before I end this review, we gotta do the points. Quality, I'm gonna give this four out of five on quality. 
same as previous versions. I think the mesh is an improvement, but I think that the Everrun is an interesting sidestep. Comfort, four out of five. New responsiveness in the shoe is welcome, but also not ideal for the Convara. It's not the Convara that I really want. I want a nice soft plush shoe. Price at $109, which is always the price point of the Convara. It's solid. It's four out of five. And finally, looks. It looks so similar to the previous version, which I gave four out of five. So I'm also gonna give the eight four out of five, bringing our grand total to 16 out of 20. The most generic score I can give a road shoe, but if you see a 16 out of 20, it usually means it's a solid shoe and well worth your time looking into. So does the Convara 8 warrant a buy, try, or a why? It's a buy. The Convaras are always gonna, well, I'm not gonna say that because next thing I know, the Convara 9 is gonna come out and it's gonna have razor blades in the heel. Convara Eight right, though, bye. And I even have a link in the description that'll take you over to Running Warehouse, plus a coupon code for 10% off nearly everything in the store. So look it up. And then my friends is it for my review of the Canvara 8. Have you run in it? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Lots of new stuff coming to this channel. Keep your eyes peeled because in a matter of days, depending on when you watch this, it might already be out. And depending on really when you watch this, it might have already taken place. GRVR, the Ginger Runner Virtual Run will be available to the world here in just a matter of days. It's a virtual run that will take place on a specific day across the globe where everyone can run. There's awesome swag. I just like the word swag. I hope you guys join. I hope you guys run. Lots of prizes and all that good stuff. It's gonna be glorious. If you liked this review, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash The Ginger Runner. New reviews, new videos, all sorts of stuff coming every single week. This week, we've got a new trailer dropping. <laughs> My new documentary following Gary Robbins at the Barkley Marathons titled where dreams go to die. So subscribe, because you won't want to miss that notification as soon as it drops. Also, social media. If you want to help support the channel, look right there, bottom one, patreon.com slash the ginger runner. Basically, it's a monthly subscription service that gets some cool perks on the back end for as little as a dollar a month. So don't buy the fidget spinner, just join us. I think just by saying fidget spinner, it's like 10,000 more views. Ah, <sighs> That's it, everyone. I hope you get out there, train hard, race harder, and part of the hardest I know I am. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you guys next week. Okay, goodbye.